Greetings friends, Jawless Paul here. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I, uh, how I do what I do, how I make videos on YouTube, um, how I make thumbnails, just kind of go over my, my whole process. There were some people who were interested in that, so I thought I'd make a quick video just to explain the software I use and my workflow, I guess, is what they, they call that. I, I hope that this is helpful for some of you, and if it is, let me know in the comments below. All right, first of all, I'll talk about um, OBS, uh, Open Broadcast Software. This is a free program that I use, um, and I'll bring it over. Uh, this is what it looks like. Basically, just a, a program for uh, recording whatever is on your desktop. You can also record specific windows like games. Obviously, for me, it's mostly games. Uh, I have a camera, and then it, you can add the camera in down here. Uh, you can add basically all kinds of stuff, and so I have got you know multiple, multiple different scenes that I use um, while I'm while I'm playing games. Uh, but anyway, you you can set up all of those different things. You can set up obviously Sting transitions. OBS is a great program. It's a really really cool uh, piece of software. Big big fan of it. There's other programs as well. This one is free though, and it's well maintained, I guess. There's a lot of updates for it, and it keeps getting better and better, and I just like it a lot. I, I remember someone talking about Fraps once, but I've never used Fraps before, so I can't really speak to that. I use Stream Elements, and so that would be obs.live rather than Streamlab OBS. I know a lot of people really like Streamlabs OBS. I, I'm guessing that Streamlabs is a little bit more popular than Stream Elements. Um, however, I really like Stream Elements for a lot of different reasons, but but mostly because uh, Streamlabs OBS keeps trying to make me subscribe to use their stuff, and I don't really want to do that. I, I kind of like that Stream Elements has never really asked me for money. <laughs> maybe that's a maybe that's a, a petty thing, but I just there are a lot of things that Stream or Stream Elements offered that Streamlabs was like, oh well, first you gotta become a you know. Streamlabs Prime member, or uh, you know, whatever, whatever you call that. In, I'll, I'll go over uh, Stream Elements uh, real quick as well. Swing over. Okay, so Stream Elements lets you uh, kind of create uh, a lot of different things. So this is my merch page. <laughs> those are those are secret. Uh, but <laughs> the dashboard shows you everything that you need to know about your channel. Um, you know, followers, tips, all that stuff. Obviously, this is the first. But Happy New Year, by the way. This is the first of January. Um, but the interesting thing is in the overlays. So you can create lots of different overlays. These are all different browser sources. And basically you just add in OBS, you would just add a browser source uh, here. And you put in, you, you put in a link basically uh, once you've created the browser source. You create, you put in the link, you set the size and, and then it puts whatever that browser uh, link in. And that's that's mostly what you're doing with uh, Streamlabs, or sorry, <laughs> with Stream Elements is you're using browser sources. So I've got I've got some different different things for you know starting screens. I actually don't use all that much with it. Um, this is this is the primary stuff that I use: the alerts, the sub train, the merchandise <laughs> rotator, the sideways chat. This is a cool thing that I found. But anyway. That is Stream Elements. I'm hoping that I didn't show anything that I wasn't supposed to. Probably, probably did though. That's okay. Um, but anyway, we'll get rid of this browser source. All right, so that's, that is OBS. A very useful tool. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't do it without OBS for sure. Uh, the next thing I do is for YouTube videos, like edited videos, I use a program called DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is, is also a free program, which is crazy. Um, I had looked, I think, maybe two or three years before I started my YouTube channel, I had kind of looked around to see what was available as far as free uh, video editing software goes, and there was not a whole lot. And then all of a sudden, it was like a bunch of different companies decided to like make their software available to everyone. And there's a bunch of good stuff out there, but I'd say in my... In my, you know, inexperienced but but in for, semi-informed opinion, DaVinci Resolve is is a fantastic program that um, it's used by professionals, and even the free version is used by professionals. I happen to know a few that that use 
um, the free version of DaVinci Resolve. To buy it, I think it's just a few hundred bucks, but then you keep it forever versus like Adobe uh, Premiere, which is a subscription, which is just, just sounds terrible to me. But anyway, uh, there's a bunch of different, you, you basically create projects. So this is kind of the basic, let's see here. It's been a while since I've just made a, a generic Hades video, like recorded and then uploaded to YouTube. Most of my stuff now is is through Twitch. I make a I make a Twitch stream and then I clip uh, the the various runs that I have. And then if you look here, you know the we don't need the display to be quite so big. You can see all these different layers basically uh, for for the video. <laughs> And and then you can add little little graphics like this is you did not this is my intro uh, my intro file goes on top there and anyway you can layer things you can adjust audio levels up and down you can make cuts um, using the little cutting tool and remove clips it's very easy to use like I have, I have received almost no training no formal training I watched some YouTube videos I guess but you can make a you can make a video without too much trouble. Um, and most of it is just, you know, it's just gameplay and me talking. I don't really do all that much editing. And then the outro at the end uh, with, with various things. Um, that is, that's that project. Let me open up a little bit more uh, kind of in-depth project. You see there's a cast boon tier list. It's coming. It's just, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, okay. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's go over. Let's let's do this. Let's do this one. We don't have to save anything. We didn't do anything. Okay, so you can see for this video, there's quite a bit more going on. Um, there's several audio channels. Okay, it looks like this is a. I've moved some of these files since making this video, so those aren't available. Um, same with this. I moved this compound clip, but uh, basically. There's a lot of different things. There's text, there's, you know, lots of cuts. There's basically, yeah, lots of different things going on in this video. It took a lot more time. You know, you could add add assets like the various boons. I, I clip or cut those. Um, oh, actually I should talk about the snipping tool that I use. Um, the snipping tool is in Windows and it's great too. Basically you can, you can just create a, an image, a, a, a PDF, or sorry, a PNG, <clears throat> a PNG of anything that you see on your screen, whether it's on a web browser or in on your desktop or whatever, you just, you just clip it, and then you even write on top of it, but usually I use that to clip things from games, like the ass various uh, game assets that I want to use. I, I just grab them like that, or like my, I use that a lot for my thumbnails uh, but that's that is uh, that's very very briefly going over uh, DaVinci Resolve DaVinci Resolve is great though I, I couldn't recommend it more it's it's fantastic um, yeah there's there's not a whole lot else to talk about for that I mean if you want to if you want a tutorial for that program there are many on the internet that are very in-depth and can talk about just about anything you want to do in that program so um, and I've made I've made some things. So there's a program called Fusion within DaVinci Resolve. I've used that a few times to make some, you know, uh, animations and stuff like that. But that's a little bit more that's a little bit more in depth. I don't you know you don't need to do that stuff. I just find it kind of fascinating. All right. So that is video editing. Next, I'm going to talk about GIMP. GIMP is a is a program I use. Uh, for making thumbnails. All right, so if, if any of you are familiar with, um, if any of you are familiar with Adobe uh, Photoshop, that's a very popular program, but the idea behind Photoshop, at least in my mind, the thing that makes it is unique and cool and useful is that you can layer things. So these are all layers and some of them are visible and some of them are invisible. So if I turn on these various layers, you see a bunch of junk is going on on the screen, but like you can add or remove layers. And basically that's what I do. It's it, I've found that to be the quickest way to make a thumbnail is to have a backdrop or a, you know, in this case, a gradient with a lens flare. And then you add a character 
Like, and that's the other thing too. Hades is an amazing game to make thumbnails for because they've got all these amazing uh, art assets that you can use in the thumbnails. I appreciate that very much. So that's Hermes, the shield. Um, I, I clip uh, parts of my my gameplay sometimes to use as backgrounds. Not always though. Um, a lot of times I just use like basic, you know, more basic backgrounds. But you can just add the, the layers is what I'm talking about is, is the great thing. So like Hades stays stays here. You know, the word Hades stays here and no matter what I do for the background, since that layer is on top, it's still visible. Anyway, um, and then I create some text and I put a gradient on the text and then I put uh, a background on on that. Or like uh, I, I, here, I'll show you. This, this was something that like, it kind of changed the way I, I did this. So you alpha to selection. So it selects the text and then you go select grow, grow by seven pixels. And then I create another layer that goes underneath and I fill this with black, right? So if I were to remove this, let's just do another one. So we've got another layer, make sure it's underneath the text layer. And then you fill it with black and it fill with background color. Boom, select none. And then you can add a drop shadow to that. So I have a drop shadow set, but you can just go light and shadow, drop shadow. And then you move things around and you know, it looks different depending on, on how you slide these things around. Anyway, that is very, very briefly into GIMP and it's it's an amazing program as well. I think it's free, it's free as well. The, I, I've spent almost no money on software to create YouTube content, which is insane in my mind. That is, that is kind of crazy. Obviously you have to buy hardware, but can't really get around that. There's not a lot of free, uh, free hardware out there, but that's it. That's basically all the pieces of the puzzle. I mean, be it besides the games that I play, right? Like you have to have games uh, if you're going to make games. Um, I, I use 4k video downloader sometimes to, to get video assets or like music. Um, I also use, but you got to be careful with that because you know, music is very, very touchy uh, and you'll get, you'll get struck, <laughs> copyright struck. I also use a, a free sound effect website where it's just like you can get freeware, uh, sound effects. Um, I won't really go into that. Maybe I'll link it in the description, the description of what that website is. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a cool website, but um, I just want to say too, at the end, now that we're at the end of the video, thank you all so much for your support in 2020. This has been a rough year, um, but I, it's, it's kind of strange to me because in 2020, I went from having less than a thousand subscribers in January to where I am today, which is, you know, a significantly, a significant amount of growth in my opinion. And that's because of you guys. And it's because of, you know, the Hades community as well as other, you know, other games. But I appreciate all of you who have stuck around, who have joined the discord and hung out with me on Twitch. That's been a lot of fun. It's great to get to know you all. And I hope that, I hope that this continues. I have some goals for 2021, but uh, we'll see how we, we'll see how the year goes. But anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it below. If you want to see more stuff about Hades or just about making content on YouTube, subscribe, maybe leave a comment if this was informative to you. And if you are hoping to get into something like this, we can go deeper into it. And I love talking to people about this stuff because I, I don't know why I just like to <laughs> theorize about it and, and come up with strategies. And if you want to do that, please let me know. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.